Good morning, and welcome to our annual Fallen Police Officer Memorial and Reef Lane. On the wall behind me are the names of 72 brave women and men who lost their lives in service to the Denver community. And while these officers live on in our hearts every day, we come together one day each year as a department and as a community to pay special tribute to their legacies and their sacrifice. To begin our tribute, I'd like to welcome Denver Police Chaplain Rabbi Steve Kay to deliver the invocation. Let us now pay tribute in honor for the gratitude of these deceased Denver police officers and other law enforcement officers throughout the nation. Each of us has a name given by God and each of us has a name given by our parents. Each of us has a name given by our stature and given by our smile. Each of us has a name given by the mountains and given by our walls. Each of us has a name given by the stars and given by our neighbors. Each of us has a name given by our sins and given by our longing. Each of us has a name given by our enemies and given by our love. Each of us has a name given by the seasons and given by our blindness. Each of us has a name given by our uniform and given by our rank. Each of us has a name given by fellow officers and given by our dispatchers. Each of us has a name given by our work and given by our citations. Each of us has a name given by the sea and now given by our line of duty death. May each of these names always be sacred as we recall your name during our Denver Police Memorial Week. Amen. In a typical year, this plaza would be filled with officers, dignitaries, community members, and most importantly, the friends and family of our fallen officers. But these are not typical times. Our city and our community are facing significant hardships due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And today, we are forced to find different ways to celebrate the lives of those we have lost. The absence of the crowd here today in no way diminishes the Denver Police Department's respect and gratitude for our fallen officers. These 72 women and men and their families made the ultimate sacrifice by placing safety of others above self. Our thoughts and our prayers with, are with the family of our fallen officers. Your loved ones championed an honorable cause and we grieve with you today. Since I began my police career, five names were added to this wall. And I can remember vividly where I was, their faces, and their story for each one during these tragedies. Each of us remember the feeling of heartbreak and sadness that is still with us today. This memorial and these names are evidence of the inherent danger that our officers face each and every day. It is also a testament to the courage that individuals will still step forward and put on this uniform in service of the Denver community. Each day, putting themselves at risk for others. The fallen officers memorialized here have tragically left us, but we will never forget them. At this time, Denver Police Detective John Crow will lay a reef in remembrance of our fallen officers.
detail. Uh, ten. <laughs> Four. Arms. Right. Face. Ready. Aim. In closing, I do want to thank Executive Director Murphy Robinson as well as Denver District Attorney Beth McCann for joining us today. It shows the level of support that their offices continue to give to the women and men of the Denver Police Department. I also want to thank the Denver Police Officers Foundation for maintaining the Fallen Officer Memorial as well as the Denver Police Museum Board and their volunteers who do amazing work sharing the history of our police department and the stories of these fallen officers with our community. I also want to thank the dedicated sworn and civilian members of this great department whose daily work and dedication honors the legacies of those whom we have lost. Stay safe, Denver Police Department. Stay safe.